Hi, it's Mr. Amos from Midland High School. This is a video on naming binary ionic compounds. Um, we did um, the crisscross method in terms of writing the formulas previously. So now what we're going to do, we're going to learn how to name them. Now, naming them is pretty simple. Um, the positive ion, the metal ion, okay, always remains the same. So whatever the name of the metal ion is, you leave it as is. But in terms of the non-metal ion, you must give it a I-D-E suffix, okay? So it has to end in I-D-E. Now, there's no set system in how to um, put these I-D endings in, so here we go. Um, F minus, which is in group 17, going to the um, halogens, will be simply fluoride, okay? And the thing is, you have to memorize these names. Uh, CL would be chloride. BR would be bromide, and I would be iodide, okay? So all we're doing is modifying the endings for the non-metal ions. Okay, O would be oxide, S2 minus, okay, put a little minus there, okay, that would be sulfide, Okay, phosphorus would turn to phosphide. IDE N would be nitride. And C would be carbide, and so on. So if you have any non-metal monoatomic non-metal ion, you simply name them like this. Okay? Alright. Moving on. Now let's just say you have to name these guys right here, right? The first thing you determine is a binary or ternary. And we see just two different elements in each of these guys. So all these guys are binary, all right? So as we said before, the metal ion, okay, remains as is. So Na is simply sodium, right? Let's see, right, sodium down. Okay? And S would be simply sulfide. Okay, coming from sulfur, negative ion sulfide ending, you're done. Okay, this one over here, Al stays as is. Aluminum ion will be simply aluminum. And O would be oxide. Now notice, right, this has a little... Um, they have little subscripts here, but they don't affect the name. It's understood it's aluminum oxide. When you do crisscross, you get those subscripts, but in terms of the name, we didn't have to do anything with that. Um, this one I'll skip because that's famous. Okay, this guy right here would be rubidium iodide. And the last one would be zinc bromide okay so once again the metal ion stays as is and the negative non-metal ion gets an ide ending all right now the thing is also guys you can be asked to write the formulas giving a name and once again since we know how to do crisscross it should be pretty straightforward for us to do so we're going to do we're going to do a couple of examples right here and call it a day. Now you need your reference tables, right? So you simply look on your reference table and you find magnesium. So we have to do magnesium nitride. Magnesium has a M is Mg, right? And has a two plus charge. Okay. Nitride refers to nitrogen, and we nitrogen has a whole lot of different oxidation states, but we look at the top one when we're doing um in reference to ionic compounds. So N would have a minus three um, charge right there. So what we simply do next, we simply do a crisscross, okay? So the two from the magnesium goes to the subscript over here, and the three will go over here to the subscript of the Mg. And what we wind up with is Mg3, okay? N2. Alright? Alright, so that's magnesium nitride formula. You're done. You move on. 
Now the next one is calcium oxide. And the same principle, if you have to do the um, right the formula for this guy, you simply realize that calcium is a metal ion, it's a positive ion. Calcium will be Ca2+, right? And oxide refers to oxygen. You look on your reference table, oxygen will have a minus 2 charge. Okay, what you do next, you simply crisscross. So the 2 would go to the over here, and this 2 will go over here. And as you realize by now, doing a couple of these examples, when you have the same charge on both um, ions, like positive and negative, and same magnitude, they cancel each other out. You get ones left, and you don't have to show the ones. So you wind up with CaO for calcium oxide. Okay? And the last one is potassium sulfide. Okay? So potassium is K, right? You look in your reference tables, K is plus one. It's in group one. And sulfide refers to sulfur. You look in the sulfur, you look at the top number. Sulfur would have a sulfur ion would have a negative two charge. Alright. So what you simply do, you crisscross. The one goes to the S right here. This two okay goes to the K and you wind up with K two S as your final answer. Okay guys, um, as always, hard work plus sacrifice equals success. Know your rules, very first thing, know your endings for binary compounds. You look at these guys carefully, if you're given a formula and ask for the name, okay, your uh, metal ions stay as is, your non-metal ions get to ID ending, okay, and f if you're given a if you're given a um, name and ask for a formula, you simply um, just do it like this with a crisscross.